If Europe's leaders are under any illusion that absorbing the current wave of refugees will sort out this problem, these pictures from Macedonia should quickly disabuse them. If anything, the numbers clambering onto clapped-out trains for the journey north are growing. Thousands more every day, all soon to be in Hungary and then onwards to Germany. Perhaps that is why the talk today is of shutting the borders once again. <laughs> so, so happy. <laughs> Raggy Faller and his family have made it before any barriers can be re-erected. They are Yazidis who fled the Iraqi city of Mosul when ISIS took over. We know all too well what ISIS would have done to Yazidi girls like his two daughters, Rafael and Ariane. There will be no one who doubts these are genuine refugees who fled for their lives and who'll never call Iraq home again. Do you think you will ever go back to Iraq? I think no back. How do you feel about that? So happy so much. So happy. You can see my, my wife is crying. But while Raggi's welcome here in Munich may lift the spirits, he is one of 20,000 to have arrived in the city in just the last few days. Shelters and sports halls across Bavaria are almost at capacity. It has taken less than a week for the authorities to start wondering how they're going to cope. How many more is Munich going to be able to accept? Um, we're quite at the limit concerning the numbers who can stay here for, for longer terms. Um, but we can register them here and then try and see that we find places for them to stay in other cities. But of course other cities are getting their own arrivals. The refugee trains don't just come into Munich, which is why Germany's Angela Merkel and the Austrians are now saying, hang on, we might need those border controls back. Amid the mass of humanity still waiting to make the journey are many others like Rage Fala and his family. Can they really be treated differently just because they came later? James Mates, ITV News, Munich.